uh, focusing in on this morning on a Sikh charity called Nishkam Swat, which has just started a really interesting project, uh, providing support to people with drug and alcohol addiction issues in the Sikh uh, community. Now, you might remember there was a survey commissioned by the BBC last year that found that, that although drinking alcohol is forbidden in Sikhism, 27% of British Sikhs reported having had someone in their family with an alcohol problem. Well, Baldeep uh, Sarkota is from the charity and is the man behind Path to Recovery. Helpline has come in from Bracknell for us. Um, tell me a little bit more about this helpline and why you think it's needed. Um so the helpline at the moment has just been launched Um, we've been going now uh, just under two weeks Um, it was launched simply you know as as you said you know there's there's a a low minority of 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 Sikhs or let's put Sikhs to one side the whole Asian community right Um, who who openly admit that they have a problem um, or are recognised to suffer from alcoholism or addiction, you know. Um, but I know, the volunteers know, um, and I guess those who are suffering also know that, that alcoholism or or addiction and or both is, is a killer illness. Um, and, and it's something that, that centres in the mind, um, sits there very patiently, very quietly, um, and ultimately, you know, it, it's, it's a killer. It wants you dead. And tell, us about, tell us about those, those um, stories that you've been getting via the helpline. What are people telling you? Um, so I guess it's the biggest thing is, is, is fear, it's shame, it's, it's ego, it's pride. You know, um, it takes a lot of people, a, a lot of courage to to pick up the phone um, and be able to talk about someone's problems within their own home. Um, you know, without going into to detail about individual cases, it's it's generally families that are calling in who are very very concerned about their loved lo- loved ones. And unfortunately, addiction is is a family illness. Why do you say that? Um, because I can I can tell you that from my own personal experience. I can tell you that every time I poured a drink, I may as well have poured my wife, my mother, my two brothers, um, you know, everybody in my immediate family. In fact, forget my immediate family, everybody I know because it impacted everybody. You know, you can talk to my friends, you can talk to my my very, very close family and they will tell you the sto- same story. What was your lowest point? Um, I guess my lowest point was when... I had a choice to either take my own life or turn around and sort my stuff out basically. <laughs> yeah. What why do you you know, what was it that made you A not go down the other path and B to where you are today helping other people? I I've spent a lot of time trying to figure that out and and the honest answer is I don't know. So it wasn't somebody who came into your life and you know reached no, out to you. There, it wasn't. there was there was no human power that could relieve me from my alcoholism, um, and and there is no human power that 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 can. Um, and I say relieve because it's a daily reprieve. You know, it's it's a daily thing. Um, it's not perfect. It's it's probably far from perfect. But I have a choice on a daily basis whether whether I want to pick up a drink. Or whether I want to live life. I can see you getting emotional. <laughs> I feel bad to tackling you at you know this time in the morning. But where where did it start for you? Like what 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 was you know was it just casually with friends drinking? Like what 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 was the trigger for you to start this? Um, this is a difficult question that's probably been asked to thousands and millions of people across the world. Where did alcoholism start? My story is alcoholism. My story didn't involve any drugs, fortunately, you know, but we we never know what, what's going to re- be around the corner. Um, I honestly can't tell you. I can't tell you if, if it was the mo- moment I was born or the moment alcohol touched my lips. All I can tell you is that I used alcohol to change the way that I feel because I had the inability to live life on life's terms. 
now just before you disappear uh, i know you're sharing the message this morning um but if you would like to get in touch with the helpline what's the thing to do absolutely so we have a helpline number available it's open from 6 p.m until 10 p.m every night um seven days a week the number is 0300 365 1313 that's 0300 365 1313 or you can find more information on nishkam swat Org. Follow us on Instagram and social media and all the rest of the, the sites, I guess. Thank you for being so honest with us this morning. No problem. Um, I wonder if actually um, this is your story too. And you've been hearing uh, Baldeep speak this morning uh, and thinking this resonates with me. But it'd be great to hear from you. Barks to 81333. Um, great to hear about Nishkam Squad. <laughs> Thank you.